Shalom, Shalom Israel. First and foremost, we'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Basham Yahweh Shai, Basham Rakakudash. The Bahanas to the elders and the apostles of Great Stone. Shalom to you, brothers in the highways and the byways, preaching and teaching this word in sincerity and in truth. Now, this is your brother Shapal from Jimmy Jamaica Camp with a quick lesson. Now, this lesson is um, going into the uh, mark of the beast, which is the uh, RFID microchip. And for those who still do not think that this is, you know, the accurate um, description that is given in Revelation, you know, um, 13 and verse 16 and down, you know, then, hey, I guess the spirit of the Most High is not dealing with you, man. You know, the spirit of Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai. By the way, Yahweh is the name of the Heavenly Father. Yahweh Shai is the son of the Heavenly Father. Those are their names in the Hebrew. Uh, we are the Hebrew Israelites, speaking about the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, Native American Indians. You know, we make up the 12 tribes of Israel. We're sent over this side of the world basically to fulfill Bible prophecies, you know, as well as because we have transgressed the laws and statutes of the Haubashim or Shrine. That's why we are in this predicament that we're in right now, you know, at the bottom of the table. And the prophecies, um, we're living in a time now where we see the prophecies are taking its time to unfold. One of the main prophecies that we're looking forward to is that ultimate test, you know what I mean, of the Yahweh Bashim El Shai that is going to be up on the earth, right? And it's, called, it's going to come uh, on the way of a uh, chip implant, right, under your skin, which is prophesied, I would say again in Revelation, the 13th chapter, the 14th verse on down. You know, so. Uh, 16 verse, a matter of fact, you know, and this is one of the main prophecies that we're waiting on. You have prophecies also, such as the um, Third World's War, which we're seeing now brewing, uh, Russia, China, and um, America, which um, NATO, you know, to be exact, you know, I mean, is going at it, and we know that it is eminent, man, because scriptures speak of these things, you know, so we're looking forward to that. We're also looking forward to Jacob's trouble, you know, where our people. You know what I mean? It's going to be um, in great distress. You know what I mean? It's going to be up on the nation. Times are going to get harder. You know what I mean? There's going to be lots of jobs. There's going to be famine, debt, destruction, all of that. The scripture prophesied of. But this is one of the main things that we want to zoom in on today, man. It's uh, that implant that's going to be under your skin. A lot of camps and you know, a lot of people out here do not believe that the scripture speak of this thing. You know what I mean? Or this is not what the scripture is speaking of, man. But let's just go into this video and get the scripture and show you, man. Right? So be mindful, man. This this is the ultimate test. Our society is 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 now gearing towards this particular thing. And if you don't have this, as the scripture say, then you're gonna have to make a choice. Whether or not you're gonna take this thing and continue. You know what I mean? A day of life, or whether you're going to reject this thing, you know what I mean? Which is going to come with a lot of hunger, uh, ridicule, starvation. You may shut out of the economy. You know? And so that's the ultimate test, man, depending on how about Shime or Shai. So, nevertheless, let's get into this video, all right? I put a microchip in my arm and it's the best thing ever. This chip is a powerhouse. It's got everything I need. A credit card, my ID, my medical info, and even my keys. And when it's time for groceries, you just tap your wrist and bam! Transaction done. It's like magic. In a medical emergency, it can save my life. Experts can easily identify me and my medical history. I feel like a sci-fi character and I'm loving it. This amazing chip is totally free. That's right, no more digging into your pockets. And the best part, the surgery is quick. They'll give you cookie afterwards. All right. Now, <laughs> when of this man, speaking about Esau, Edom, that's the main Israel man. That's the main enemy of Israel. Right? When of this man has ever done anything to better your life or to enhance your life, man? Free of cost. Huh? This, that just shows that, look, there's something behind it. But nevertheless, um, as, this, as, as the, the, uh, the female saying, it's more about looking woman saying, right? It reflects everything that the scriptures speak of in Revelation. All right, let's get into that right now and show you, man. This is Revelation 13 and verse 16. 
right? And he caused it all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand or in their forehead, right? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name. Now, as the female stated, once you have that thing in your, under your skin, you can go and you can tap, pay for groceries, you know, pay for transportation and all of that, right? Your money is going digital now, man. That's the beginning of it. There won't be no cash. That's the reason why they're getting rid of cash now. Out in Jamaica, all over the world, right? This is where it is going. This is the ultimate. Since I know they must have the CBDCs and so on and so forth. But this is the ultimate goal. So let's go into the word mark right here in the scripture. Right? It's a karagma. It's the root word for the word mark, karagma. It says a stamp, an impalement mark. Right? A mark of a stamp on the forehead and right hand of the followers of the Antichrist. Right? It says a badge of servitude. Right? In the Strong's definition. Going down at the bottom, it says what? This is a stamp or badge. Um, as a badge of servitude, right? So this is going to determine who is your master because this is ultimate control. This is going to be a, 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 a decision on who you want to rule over you because that's the mindset of Isa Edom to actually get you in a state where them can determine what you eat, what you drink because it's, as I said before, it's total control. Man. They are the ones that are going to control this device right meaning if they decide that look i'm going to shut your, your 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 device off the chip off right you can transport you can heat you can do nothing see you're at their mercy so it says a badge of servitude you're going to be servitude man you're going to be uh, you're going to be in worse slavery than hardcore slavery that we as so-called Negroes face here in America. They're going to pray for those days in the cotton field. Right? Sin. So this is a description that is given of it. Right? Sin. Right? So it's a grave sculpture, um, you know, all of that. Right? So this is... The root word for karagma goes into the word karax, which means appeal or stake or policy. Alright? See? A policy, a stake, or a rampart. That um, is the depiction of, a, of the syringe, the device that they're going to use to put that chip into your hand. Right? So John on the highland of Portmore's got this vision. Right? And he referred to it as a mark. But when you Break down the word mark and go back into the root word. This is an understanding of what is given. Man. A peel or a stake or a, ramp or a rampart. So John saw this being given in the future. The spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yashai show him in the future what is going to happen. Right? And this is how he describes it. Right? But your servitude, you know what I mean? An imprinted device, a stamp, right? And when you're going at the root word, you know, this is what you get. Uh, the root word for karagma, karax, which means a, a polystate, a sharp thing. So John saw that sharp uh, instrument, you know, that was used to put that chip in, 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 in one's hand, right? And you're going at the root word for karax, and you get grapho, right? It's a, to write in reference to a form of a letter, Right, when you go down, it's a, it's a, um, to write in reference, to express to written character, to commit to write, those who use uh, stands to read, to write, it's like a, right, to draw down, to write, to compose, right, it's a, right, it's a, I'm um, going um, definition 2B. It said to commit to writing things not to be forgotten, to write down. Right? So this device, I go have 
a ultimate um, amount of data um, uh, storage capacity wherein a lot of data you know a lot of things is going to be stored on this device right and it's what things written down not to be forgotten your driver's license your health records she stated it this is the definition and the meaning of this device man you know it, it's plain as day but yeah, how about she may had given the spirit color? Yeah, how about she may share for the elders and apostles, men, a great man stone. And those who have the understanding of this thing, man, that the Lord is really dealing with. You know? See? And 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 that's that that's it, basically, man. You know? Something that's gonna be implanted into your hands. That's gonna have all your biometric information. She said it, man. Let's let's get back into the video just to just to be certain that we're not um, we're not putting words in any one mode. Listen for yourself. I put a microchip in my arm and it's the best thing ever. This chip is a powerhouse. It's got everything I need. A credit card, my ID, my medical info, and even my keys. That's and it. when it's time for groceries, you just tap your wrist and bam! Transaction done. It's mm -hmm. like magic. In a medical emergency, it can save my life. Experts can easily identify me and my medical history. I feel like a sci-fi character and I'm loving Things not to be forgotten. Medical history and so forth. Yeah, this amazing chip is totally free. That's right, no more digging into your pockets. And the best part, the surgery is quick. They'll give you a cookie afterwards. Right, and China is far ahead in this thing, man. And just to remind for that, this is Australia, right? And there's a Chinese, you know, so-called Chinese because they're more up, right? woman promoting this in Australia. <laughs> Let's go back in the scripture, man. It's crazy, bro. It's 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 really crazy, you know? Um verse 17. Revelation 13 verse 17 says, And that no man might buy or sell save he that have the mark or the name of the beast or the number of his name, man. Since so no man are going to be able to buy or sell you hear what she said man. You pay for grocery, you pay for that is all the world. Cash is gonna be out. Because catch is not chuckable, it's not traceable, it's, it cannot be controlled. That's the reason why they're getting rid of it from now, right? So, <laughs> no man might buy or sell. You cannot buy, you cannot sell. And if you can't buy or sell, that means you can't eat, you can't survive, you can't do business. You'll be shut out of this world because that is going to be your identity in the coming uh, dystopia where these people are create. Right? Let's get into the... Uh, what you call the um, punishment for doing this, for taking this device. Revelation 9, I'm sorry, 14 verse 9. Say, and the third angel followed them, saying with a loud voice, If anyone worship the beast, let's look up um, worship, right? It said, uh, To kiss the hand towards one in token of reverence, right? Right? <laughs> That is crazy. Um, we're going to strong definition meaning. It says to kiss like a dog licking his master's hand. Come on, man. That is who you are, man. When you check up the, the, the World Health Organization, when you check up the World Economic Forum, this is what these men are doing. One world, all these men want to eat bugs. You're going to be at the mercy of these men. These men are wanting to be like the most high. That's why these men are doing this. Trying to control the mass. Right? With a device. So that you can be. You, it's only him. Right? You can go to. For anything. Wanting of all things. You're going to ultimately go back to him. For everything that you need. So you're going to be at um, his mercy. All right, let's go back. All right, so it's a uh, any man worship. It's uh, the angels, and the angels um, follow them with a with a loud voice. If any man worship the beast and his his image, um, and receive his mark in his forehead or in his hand. So it doesn't matter which hand. And in a forehead, you know, you have um the Neuralink program with um Elon Musk. We then put um, brain implant, you know what I mean, um, 
why could you be implanting into your brain? You know what I mean? And you know that you know, that's, that's a whole different thing, man. This is it's like they them sell it as something convenient or something that's gonna help you. You know what I mean? If you have spinal injury, which them do research on on monkey, you know where they put a brain chip in them um, in the brain and it bypasses the spinal cord and sends sensors to the legs so the legs can move. You know what I mean? Without and the spinal cord is broken. You know what I mean? So, and the scripture tell about um, these miracles that these men are, uh, you know, supposedly um, creating, you know. So let's continue. Right? It says, so if anyone take the, the, the mark in their right hand or in their forehead, you know what I mean, these microchips, it says, the same shall drink of the wine of the rod of the hour, wash him how shy, that is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And they shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of a lamb. Right? So, once you go this way, where this woman is promoted, you know what I mean? You take that thing, you know what I mean? You will be shut out. Well, you, you will be, you know, in society doing your regular business. You know I mean? But according to how Hawashim and Shaiman, right? you fail the ultimate test. And as the scripture says, man, you will be destroyed. You will be destroyed, man, in the presence of our Lord and Savior, man, Yahweh Shai. Right? So with that, we want to give our praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, um, double honors to the elders, the apostles of Great Stone. Shalom to you, brothers in the highways and the byways, preaching, teaching, his word in sincerity, and in truth. Shalom.